Well, uh, hello, uh, my name is Henry Ramo. I am a project management intern at the Vectors PMO. And I'm so happy to share my experience with you and uh, in this internship. And today I'm going to talk about the fast lane of five points. Okay, so first an introduction uh, of this program. Uh, let's recap Vector's uh, mission and this point that it's highlighted. Um, yeah, so Vector wants to build and sustain AI-based innovation, growth, and productivity in Canada's Canadian industry. So aligned with that, uh, Vector proposed more than one year ago this program that is called Fastlane Program. And yeah, what uh, Fastlane uh, uh, aims is to enable small and medium-sized enterprises that are called SMEs to adopt AI uh, faster and at a lower cost. So they uh, and they also can access uh, have access to the best AI experts here. So yeah, but for example, what what you can find in, in the Fastlane program uh, boot camp, you can uh, uh, the SMEs can have access to to workshops like the forecasting workshop we heard in the first presentation, um, courses like it from Excel to AI. So yeah, here are the SMEs that don't have uh, so much too, uh, too much knowledge about uh, AI, they they have this this training and access to, to our experts in, in the program. So uh, inside this program, there was an opportunity to, uh, and that SMEs were requiring uh, having access to practical exercises where they can work with uh, AI experts in a real use case for, for their company. So yeah, here is up, uh, the flight project, fast layer project, project, which is a four month program designed for them uh, to, to work on a real use case. Um, so in four months, they, they, they will uh, have access to, to a, an MLA. I will explain after, after what, what's an MLA, that's in, it's in a student that uh, well, a couple of students that will help them to implement uh, this real use case in, in, their, uh, in their company. So yeah, so that's a, a, a good advantage for the, for the company, but also it's a great opportunity for students to, and recent graduates to, to enroll in the, in the program so they can have access to, uh, to real world uh, projects. Okay, so if we summarize which are the main actors in this program, we have the company, uh, at the other side we have the, the students, or in this program we call them Machine Learning Associates, or MLA, and in the middle is Vector. So they, uh, we as Vector connect these, uh, these two stakeholders, and how do uh, we support them? Uh, first of all, we, we help with the interview and matchmaking of the MLA with a company who's the most suitable to to work in the, in the project. Second, the student onboarding, helping with the, the paperwork and, and all that stuff. Then uh, with a use case discovery, so we can help the SME to find um, the method, of which method can, can be the most suitable for their use case. Um, and finally, we support them through all the project with execution and delivery of the solution. Um, yeah, so which, which are the benefits for them? Yeah, first of all, for the company, uh, well, they increase their research and development budget through complementary funding. Yeah, because we, uh, we as Vector, we are supporting them with part of the of the cost of the, of enrolling these MLAs. Uh, second, yeah, accelerate work on AI uh, use case using Vector resources. Yeah, in Vector, we have a lot of uh, experience uh, implementing use cases, so we can uh, translate this knowledge to, to them. And of course, from the companies to get access to top tier AI talent. Yeah, they will have access to the researchers, to the AI engineers, to the PMO. So yeah, they will have a lot of help there. And for the students, yeah, great opportunity for, the, for them to learn uh, in, this, in this program, working with real world industry challenges outside from the, their universities. Um, second, uh, leveraging Vector's unique expertise in, in delivering AI projects. Yeah, they will have access to our researchers too, our engineers. And finally, they will expand their network because they will be immersed in the AI ecosystem here at Vector. Okay, this is a project structure. Uh, very briefly, it's alcohol-based, uh, so different from many other projects where they have to work on their, on their stuff. They will uh, have a, uh, this, this class or this, uh, this group of students where they will share their experience, share their challenges, 
um, they will learn together, and yeah, they will won't be alone in their own uh, uh, challenge. So, yeah, um, it's four months a base. Uh, first month, you need to understand the use case, polish it. Uh, then, in the next two months, they will work on experimenting, on training, and finally uh, having some results. And in the last month, they will try to transfer this knowledge to the company, and hopefully they can put this into production. So yeah, and here at the bottom is Vector supporting this, this program. Uh, we will give them uh, monthly group sessions and workshops uh, where they, we will try to, to, to train them, uh, in the, in the, for example, in, in the models they will, they will be using. Um, and yeah, all the materials we can give them, they will have access to that. And also, uh, uh, in the project management side, we will be having weekly uh, touch, touch points with them and aligning sessions between the company, the MLAs, and, and us, Vector. Uh, okay, very quickly, this, uh, so yeah, our, our, Cohort is starting in January. Uh, something I, I forgot to mention is this is pretty, pretty new. It's the first, uh, the first cohort we're having in, in, in this program. Um, we're in our pilot now. So in this pilot, uh, four companies are participating, um, which, uh, and we will be working on forecasting use cases. Okay, so well, uh, we have Quick, Quick Play, which is a video streaming uh, company, and, we, and they're just cases to build a quality of experience forecast model. Um, we have a SPACnet, which is a company that works in the healthcare industry, and the use case is to predict, predict septic shocks. Um, BD App, a uh, multi streaming auditor, the use case is to classify and forecast fraud accounts. Um, Ventera, which is a real estate company, they manage uh, properties and they want to forecast the maintenance they have to give to these properties. So next step, uh, we have almost finished all the preparation phase. It's been, it's been tough uh, this late month. Um, uh, and, and yeah, so in January we're executing you know, the, the, the project. But what I wanted to mention uh, to you is that in May we're having our second cohort, and it will comprise, uh, uh, we hope to, uh, to work on computer visions or NLP use cases. So <clears throat> please stay tuned to the, to the Vector's website. Um, when we launch this program and sign, and sign up or spread the word to your friends. And uh, hopefully you can also join the, the this cohort and be part of, of, of the second uh, applied project. Well, okay. So yeah, if you want to enroll afterwards, please send an email to Diana Mayena. She is uh, the leader of this project. Uh, she's at the back if you want to be <laughs> Um Yeah, my experience in the project, yes, yeah, super interesting. I've learned a lot here, uh, and I want to summarize this in, in these three stakeholders uh, we have in the in the program. First, from the business side, really interesting to uh, to discuss with them and and learn how eager they are, they are to they are to adopt AI. Uh, they are super fast when they answer. And what I see here is that there is, there is a huge transformative uh, potential in the SME sector. So I think uh, Vector is in the right direction. direction of, of, uh, um, of working with them, and I think this will uh, change the industry in, the, in that aspect. The second one is from the student side. Um, yeah, when uh, the program was launched, uh, the, um, many students uh, were very interested, um, and they actually were very, very talented. Um, what I see here is if, you, if Vector designs the proper opportunity, uh, a lot of talent will, will join, and I think we, we should uh, keep uh, creating this, this kind of programs. And yeah, during the interviews, uh, the, this was very interesting. How, how, because all these people were very talented, how, so the, the question here is how to make yourself unique. Um, and what we see in the SMEs is that they, they, uh, they didn't only want to, uh, to have people expert in the technical side, but also uh, uh, people that have good communication skills and people that, uh, that, that who have this, uh, this know-how of translating the, the technical uh, knowledge to, to the business needs. So when they did that, uh, yeah, the, the companies loved them. So yeah, it's, it's a very, very interesting thing that we should explore uh, as people that, that like to, to, to study about AI, but we need to, uh, to enhance these skills. And finally, from the vector side, 
really interesting to, to, to learn the potential impact that a vector can have, can, can have in the ecosystem. And yeah, when, while I was there, it, uh, I was really um, great motivated to, uh, to, to contribute to the project because I, I could see how, uh, how real was to transform, transform our, our work uh, in make, into making a difference in the industry. So yeah, you, you should feel so proud because of being part of the sector. Because yeah, we, we, we can change uh, our country and, and, and our and the companies here and the lives of many people here. So yeah, those are all my learnings and thank you so much. <laughs> Any questions? <please. laughs> hey Henry, so to my understanding, Vector's been doing the fast lane program for some time now, but this is the first time that you're taking a cohort based approach. Is that correct? Uh, yes, yes, it's, uh, it's, it's working in a real use case, yeah, it's the first of all in, in the supply for you. And so, what sort of advantage are you hoping to get out of this approach compared to what we've been doing last thing previously? Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, the, the advantage here is that um, you are you're helping the, the companies to, to, to sense uh, real AI in, in, their, in, in their actual process. So one, one thing in, 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 I don't know, in training companies is, yeah, you can teach them the method, you can uh, show them examples, but other thing is when they, they see this AI real in their in the real data, in the real, in the real life uh, day by day. So yes, I think this is uh, the potential of, of transformation in, in this program. Yeah. Cool, thank you. You might want to talk about the, ref, uh, the, the receptor capacity issue that small and medium-sized companies usually face when they are joining our regular projects, because that, that was definitely one of the main motivations why we decided to create this, and it's very related to the fast lane program itself. Um, I don't know if you want to speak to that um, in terms of the resources that they have in order to join this type of thing. Uh, yeah, um, so yeah, they, they were very receptive to the program. Um, yeah, actually, um, it's difficult for them to, uh, if you just you step in and, and tell them, hey, you can do this thing in your, in your, in your company. So yeah, at, at first it was difficult to, to get some companies enrolled to the program, but uh, for the companies when that had a little more of interest, when, when they were, uh, well, we had the second interview, the third interview with them, uh, yeah, they were very excited. And, and, and for example, now that we have chosen the, the MLA for them, they are uh, continuously in contact with them. Um, and they are asking a lot of questions, even, even one of the companies, uh, yeah, because only two MLAs were assigned to each company, uh, one of the companies loved so much the, the, the people they, they interviewed. The, they want to hire them apart from the program because they, they, there's so, so much talent. And, and yeah, they, they're really interested and they want to, to start uh, producing. So, yes, that's one of, maybe you can want to, to add. No, just, just to add one more thing. Is, is that when companies, especially the small and medium-sized companies, when they join projects, the, the regular projects that we usually have, they have something called receptor capacity limitations, meaning that because they are so small and they're only focused on what they do best, it's hard for them to join the programs that we have, right? So for instance, uh, the projects that we do in our regular corporate type of projects, it's uh, like, I don't know, it could be a bootcamp, which is a month, it could be four months, it could be six. And when you are a CEO of a small company, the motivation for you to put your team in those type of projects, it's, it's very hard for them to actually say yes to that, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the main motivation why we decided to create this thing was to bring the MLA so that they can be fully dedicated to work on that project on behalf of Vector, but in order to support the company. They are, they are fully invested in the company, and that's what makes this whole thing, I mean, that's how we tried to bridge the gap given the challenges that they were facing. And that was just an assumption, that, like a, something that we wanted to test whether this was interesting. And it seems that there's demand in both sides from, from the students and also the companies. So 
Um, and I really want to thank my team for, for the great work that they have done. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So uh, I have a quick question for you, Henry. Great presentation, and I wish you the best of luck for the success of this project. Uh, what, what seems really unique about this project is that it's a cross-collaboration around within Vector as well, where we are leveraging resources from the professional development. AI engineering is involved as well. Yeah, exactly. Taylor has been evolved. Like, all the different departments that have been involved. So uh, when we look at the project, it has a really unique angle or a unique selling point as compared to uh, an, another internship program, a four-month-long program. So do you see this secondment program that you, like your team has built right now to be scaled for bigger organizations? Because I definitely see a scope where uh, they would want their, uh, like, you know, MLAs to not just work for them but learn at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a difficult question, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we can try a pilot for them, but in my opinion, I think the SMEs, uh, in the, the SME sector, it will uh, work much better because uh, uh, I think the speed of, of the SMEs is, is much, much greater than, than bigger companies. Um, also, the potential to uh, uh, they must are receptors. I think they they will um, so 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 open to to suggestions and to changes in their in their in the way they they do things. So yeah, I I I I've had experience in a, a very very large company in, in the in the last year, and they, it's very very difficult to change uh, the way uh, it, it 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 works. So we can try it um uh, it will be interesting how how this uh, this goes with, with i i don't know how uh, a bigger fast lane uh, applied project within with this enterprise thank you for your answer yeah. i'm sorry for being so sincere <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it was yeah <laughs> okay no more questions. thank you